definitely did a good job. Tomorrow's video going up. Today is October 18th and I've been pretty excited about today because apparently out at Peachtree Corners there is an autonomous driving bus shuttle a self-driving car essentially that'll take you somewhere and you know without a driver there's a whole strip that these shuttles will be driving on day october 18th at 10 a.m i can go ride in one of these shuttles and check it out now there's no driver but there will be an attendant on board in case something happens that is literally able to use an xbox controller to steer this car that's pretty wild so you can see it's 9 10 a.m and uh i'm gonna hop in the car head out to peachtree corners from what I understand, this Peachtree Corners is kind of like a Silicon Valley of Atlanta or Gwinnett area. Let's get out there and uh, check this out. Let's ride in our first autonomous, fully, fully self-driving vehicle since Tesla doesn't get credit for it. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch, and uh, let's go to Peachtree Corners. We're in my wife's car. She, uh... She needs a tire rotation, so I gotta take her car down to the place to get a tire rotation, but that's not till after we go to Peachtree Corners. She definitely wasn't joking. She said she needed gas. Let's go, Brandon. I'm pretty certain that's a 5G antenna. Alrighty. Now we're off. There's an intersection off of Peachtree Industrial Boulevard that takes you on to 141 North. Yeah, 141 North. Most confusing intersection I've ever been at. I would love to see what a Tesla would do in autopilot there because I was completely lost and I'm a human, so I think the car would have just like went completely into the other lane. Very weird intersection. We're three minutes away though. We're gonna be right on time. They're supposed to start at 10. I may not make the first ride apparently, but uh, we'll still get to ride in it, hopefully. So from the looks of things, this blue area is for the shuttle. So it's like got its own little drive-in lane. I guess that's smart. <gasps> there it is! Beep! That's it! That's the driving shuttle! <gasps> I found it! I found it! No one's on it. There's a couple people on it. I'll say, it looks like it goes very, very slow. I'm doing 21, so yeah, it goes pretty slow. So there was a stop up here. I guess I can go there and it'll pick me up. Yeah, shuttle stop location, Curiosity Lane. So that's where it can pick me up at. This entire lane with even these little blue dividers is just for this shuttle. That's, that's pretty interesting. Curiosity Lab, always curious, always innovating. All right, let's find a spot to park where we can get picked up by the shuttle. Turn right, yield to shuttle, right lane, AV only for autonomous vehicle only. All right, so we're going to park at a ESI, whatever this is, and see if we can catch this uh, autonomous bus, which it's way down there somewhere, so I'm going to have to wait a minute. And see, if you couldn't read that other sign, that's where it said, right turn, yield to shuttle, right lane, AV only for AV, of course, for autonomous vehicle. There's also the same writing on the ground. It says AV only, so that way people that come through here, here, they get in that lane they they know that I mean if they don't have an AV they should get out of it granted I wonder if you have a Tesla and autopilot if you could get away with riding in this don't do that that's it right there slowly moving down the road so it should be coming to my bus stop which is right there that red mark so I think I'm gonna get out in a moment and go take a ride in my first AV not an EV an AV also I wonder if this thing is electric or gas powered. I bet it's gas powered look at this this guy's like walking a zebra robot thing look at that all right i kid you not the thing took a right turn and by the time i got my car cranked up and down the road it completely disappeared i'm thinking it might come around this corner in a moment but i have no clue where it went where did this thing go i know i'm in the right area i just don't know where the av went it's of course at the spot that i was at that i'm no longer at now let me see if i can make it so this is it the beep autonomous self-driving AV. Holy crap. How's it going? How does this work? 
Were you able to just to find out? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Pretty um, good. You do have to be wearing a mask, but we have masks back. That'll here. work if you got one. It's a self driving shuttle. Uh, like, a, like you said, it does break unexpectedly. That's only because it takes a lot of necessary precautions. Gotcha. So it's safe. I had no clue this whole parkway was even over here. We just, well, we just started this uh, this route. Uh, we're actually, so this, this is our, already been here. Uh, okay. This lane, it's already been here. You're actually our very first customer on this route. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sweet! Achievement for me. Yeah, I live over in Cobb County. I saw it in the news and I was like, man, I gotta go check this thing out. So, there's some um, sensors on the outside that are called LiDAR. Uh -huh. So, it's like a radar but with light. So that's I can see where the shuttle is going. So that's like the Google self-driving car, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. That is crazy. Yeah, so right now he is not driving it. He's just, the operator is here um, in case he needs to be taken over maybe. Okay. So I didn't slow down there, that was the shuttle. It stopped on its own. Uh -huh. Dang. Supposed to have two of these going at the same time. Okay. The other one's still in the shot right now. Ah. But one, one would be on one side of the route, the other one would be on this side. Oh, okay. So it just, just be alternating. It goes from the hotel down there to the Andrew V Brewery up the other way, about uh, two miles. Okay. What's the top speed on it? I think it's like seven. Oh, okay. It's, it's, like seven right it's supposed to be 12, but. It's limit. They limited it to seven just because the road is kind of curvy. Gotcha. That makes sense. And is it gas powered or electric powered? Electric. Electric. Okay. The Eighty volt battery. Eighty volt battery for the shuttle and then twelve volt for everything inside. Well, we didn't yeah. No, I'm trying to. It's still. still it's still not pulling up. So you saw when they had the the launch event here. And they had the, the Florida shuttles, that what you said? You said I did news? not, no. I saw a thing on the news about this one today. And so I was like, I gotta go check that out. What is the solar roadway? I saw that. Um, that's not us. Oh, okay. That is, <laughs> I, think that's, I think that might be for that, the charging station. Oh, okay. So it should probably charge it by solar power. And you just bring your electrical, uh, electrical car and charge it. Gotcha. So, um, we have the stop here then two more stops and then we turn around so i think there's seven or eight stops on the route here okay cool cool dang so welcome to ride for as long as you want yeah i guess i'll ride back to there and then that xbox controller literally controls it when you need to can you switch it into manual yes wow very very cool i think it's the only spot in america that has the whole route is Self-drive that has its own lane all the way. Yeah, when I pulled up and I saw AV lane, I'm like, wow, it's got its own lane? Okay, that's something different. Yeah, we have a couple in Florida that have to share traffic, which obviously, as you can understand, is probably a little frustrating for drivers that yeah. go about 12 miles an hour in traffic. But probably good and bad for y'all because then you're able to get more data for everything. Yeah, yeah. but this, this route is real nice that we have this whole... Yeah, whole strip. Also, if you get hot, we have AC too. So really? Nice. We just didn't turn it on because it drains the battery faster. That makes sense. It's actually going slower here at this part than it has any other time. Yeah. No, it goes faster up the hill than it does down the hill. So the Braves won last night. That's yes. Yes. Those are those very good games. They're going to break all our hearts again. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't. I'm hoping that, yeah, 2-0 lead, come yes. on, we, we can pull I mean, out 2 more. <laughs> last year, against the yeah. Dodgers. Yeah, I was hoping San Diego, whoever it was, was going to win. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, they didn't go for it. I mean, you can put signs every 100 feet that say AV lane only, but... 
Yeah. And right there. And down there. And right there. And on the floor. And literally in the lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if people are going to think that means RV lane and try RV. to park RVs in it. I could see somebody with a Tesla coming up and being like, I have an AV. What kind of vehicle? Technically, they could. Yeah. They, could. they didn't specify. Yeah. I think they might work on that now. Yeah. That uh, antenna again. Cause they're let's, um, let's go past it before they start setting up something up for manually around it. Is that a 5G antenna? I think it might be. That might actually help the signal. Because it, yeah, because the ultimate goal is for to have like an, antennas like that on street lights and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So it'll just communicate with the shuttle. Yeah. So like it'll tell it like, oh, it's about to be green, so slow down. Uh, I mean, uh, red, so slow down. Because right now the shuttle can't actually tell what color the light is, so it just stops at all the lights, and the operator has to verify what color light it is and then hit the go button. Just because uh -huh. the technology is not quite there yet. Same at, same at stop signs. It knows to stop at stop signs, but it can't detect if it's good to move around yet unless the thing is right to field of vision. So the operator has to verify it's safe. Gotcha. So the route, the route starts at uh, 10. Okay. It takes about an hour to do one full loop with their own touch boat. Really? Wow. So that operates from 10 to 4? Yeah, the route is about uh, 3 miles, and the more supposed to go about 5 miles an hour. So uh, it takes anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes to do. And the nice thing about it is there's a brewery at the end of the route, so... Oh man, that's awesome. Definitely did a good job. Very cool. They couldn't show me the screen, but all the sensors up top, such a cool little thing. All right. My other, my camera died. Of course, this guy's cutting grass. Let me get in the car first. All right, so I pulled over here so I could make uh, this little outro clip. So that was the autonomous driving vehicle out here at Peachtree Corners. It has its entire own little AV lane. They're just really starting out, but they apparently have uh, locations in a few different areas. I don't know if I got some of that on video or not because this uh, this died on me. That's why I'm recording from my phone now. But they're in a couple other areas like in Orlando and Arizona and a few places like that. And this one just opened up today. Runs from like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m just up and down this little strip. So if you wanna come check it out, 
it's right here completely free to me i think it did a really good job we had one car pull out in front of us it stopped it actually has two horns so it has a little dinging horn that you may have heard a few times and it has like a physical horn but just very very cool where technology uh, is going. That's why I had to come out here and check this out. I also don't know if I got that clip uh, or not where that they said I was the first rider. So I was apparently the first one out here to ride this. Granted, I didn't see anyone else out here looking to ride it, but me, I'm a nerd and I really thought it was cool. That's why I was here literally at 10 a.m. So it's 11.01 now. Uh, I think I'm gonna head on back, get to the house and uh, start editing down this video for tomorrow. Two thumbs up to the guys there. Thank you all so much for all the information and just everything we talked about. I didn't get all that on camera, so. But that'll do it for this one. Click that like button, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.